All right guys, so this is how I made $250,000 last year. I mostly use two payment processors. So as you can see, there's like $200,000 on Stripe and there's almost $50,000 on Gumroad. The product I sold was a simple digital product and I'm gonna show you how to design a product and how to design a sales system for your product so your product can sell 24 seven. And essentially, this is the sales system I used myself throughout entire year of 2023 and made $250,000. And before that, my income never surpassed $40,000 a year. So it's literally 6x growth in just one year. And essentially, I'm gonna share with you everything what I did last year and all I'm asking in return from you is just to drop a like on this video. So there are levels to this game, right? And every level is gonna require for you to take different action. I was in level one not too long ago, a complete beginner, right? Making zero dollars per month online, no skills, no audience, no leverage. And yeah, I went through all of this. I'm not from some sort of rich family. I started everything from scratch and built it up to the point where I'm making, I just left some numbers here. For example, this is my strap balance where the payouts was coming in in November. So as you can see, $12,000 payout, $5,000 euro pay payout, 5.5 thousand euro payment uh, payout sorry <laughs> i can't speak so and right here this image perfectly shows the seasons of entrepreneurship this first photo was taken in 2020 this one is 2021 this one is 2022 this one is 2023 as you can see today's revenue five thousand euros um and here we have some crazy numbers as well so without further ado let's go into how you can copy me and do the same. So first of all, let's let's define how you can actually make money. What what are some ways you can make money? There are only three, actually three ways you can make money. You sell a digital product, you sell a service, and you sell a physical product, right? The main goal when we start out, we want to get to two to five K per month. This is gonna give you a ton of freedom, uh, especially it's gonna shift your mindset. This is the part where we want to shift your mindset to believe that it's possible. In the last year, um, as I said, I made $250,000 profit, but I started the year as level two, mid tier. Okay, I was already making between two and 5K per month. However, before that, I was a total beginner. So what should you do when you are a total beginner? Well, the best option for you would be to pick up services, okay? Now, there's a, a nice, WW scenario you can put yourself into because if you decide that you're going to go and lawn more like lawn the malls right or do pressure cleaning or something like that it's good you're going to make money the problem with that is not you're not acquiring skills that are going to propel you towards different opportunities and different models that we're going to talk about later okay we want to pick services that we're going to sell that are going to create us a win-win scenarios, right? We're going to make money, but we're also going to learn a foundation levels of skills that we can use going through our entrepreneurial journey. Okay. So what did I did here? All right. So I learned the skill of organic content creation. I learned how to create organic content that reaches wide audiences, AKA goes viral. And I learned to do that for e-commerce. So for physical products, and I learned how to do that for personal brands. So people selling digital products. Okay. I've seen both worlds and they are pretty similar. Um, the way to make viral content on social media, the short form viral content is to have a hook. First three seconds is the hook, right? And then we have essentially answer to the hook. We catch attention and we keep the attention for as long as possible. That way, the video is going to be pushed out to the algorithm more and more and then more and more and more and more and more. And it's just flywheel. So I learned that. And this is where you learn human psychology. You learn editing. You learn uh, essentially how to storytell. You learn how to add call to actions to sell a product through those videos. And you learn a bunch of different sub skills that comes to that one giant skill. And you start making money. The problem is you don't have any leverage and you're essentially selling your time still, but you're earning money. So that's what I did, okay? The beginning stages, I learned a skill, I sold a skill. I, I freelance, right? Just a freelance. That's just the baseline, guys. So the worst thing you can do is make a lot of money really quickly with luck. Because 
now you, you don't really understand where it, where it came from and it could literally destroy you because now you created a belief that money comes easy completely without any skill set. Money can come easy when you have high levels of skill sets. Like it's pretty easy to make money. But if you just got lucky with, without any clue how this happened to you, you most likely don't have a skill set. Now you're going to try to replicate that luck and it's just like a gambler. Build your baseline in those level ones. Uh, good Skill sets you can learn on freelance, again, content creation, short form content creation, understanding how to create viral content, understanding how to actually build somebody online and sell that as a service. So for example, um, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's this thing called social SEO. The more your face is being seen on multiple channels, on multiple different pages, your social SEO score improves and your content going to get pushed out more and more because algorithms now are so advanced that they can s just detect your face, right? So the reason, for example, um, Luke Belmer, right, just blew up. He has multiple pages reposting his content. They are all going viral, pushing the traffic to his main account. If you, if you can package this and sell this as a service to somebody, instead of just being another generic video editor trying to pitch the same thing over and over again, but sell this as a service, like a freelance service, where you repurpose their content from their podcast. You take somebody who has a big podcast, you say, look, we're going to create a distribution channels for you, like hundreds of accounts reposting the content. We're going to make the content. We're going to charge you only like a few hundred dollars per month, but we're going to need you to give us uh, your affiliate link for your digital product or something that you're selling. And you're going to be incentivized to do a good work because now you're making extra money from being an affiliate for that guy. You're also earning some baseline fee, like between $500 and $700 per month, uh, charging him for this service. And you're learning a foundational level of skill, stacking cash, and then we move to level two, mid-tier. This is what I did. So the start of 2023, I'm making between two and 5K per month online, right? This applies to you when you are doing this. I learned a skill, I got some clients, I started building an audience. So what I did is, so when you reach this tier, you have a few options. You can you can say, let's scale this freelance stuff. Let's hire people. Let's uh, outsource everything, right? And let's run this as a company. And that's a valid option you can choose. However, the problem with that is, uh, personally, I don't want to manage people. I don't want to have a ton of employees. So I decided I'm going to keep this as my day job. Then I'm building my second business, second stepping stone for me. So what I decided to do is since I am kind of like, I, I mastered, I learned a skill of content creation, right? I'm going to imply everything I learned into my own personal brand and build that brand myself for myself with this with the things that I learned. I'm also have a luxury now because I'm making some money. I stored some money. I didn't spend it. I stored some money on the side and now I literally just can, on my free time, build my audience. So I started doing that, okay? Now, again, there are some options. So what type of content you should post, right? What type of what type of audience you should aim for? Uh, there there was a there was a option for me to kind of like say, look, I, I work with all these clients. I understand how to create content. So I'm going to create content about creating content. So I decided to do something different. I decided to create content that I liked, that I saw, I, I consumed myself and uh, apply my own twist on it, apply my own spin and make it a little bit more unique. So it started pretty slow and over the time, I built up an Instagram page with 440,000 followers, something like that. And the second Instagram page with 168,000 followers, which is more niched and it's more, it's for my educational company, which essentially made those $250,000, right? So I launched an educational company, but that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So as I started my Instagram page, my personal Instagram page, I had no idea how I'm going to monetize. I had no idea how I'm going to reach this main goal, transition to leverage model and make 10K per month, right? I had no clue how to do that. However, I knew that uh, I have a framework. I knew that I'm going to reach this with digital products. Um, What digital product, what I'm going to teach or how it's going to look like, no clue. 
So I start building my audience. Uh, my, my brand is, uh, you know, growing, you know, everything is fine and dandy. I'm just getting followers here and there. Now people start asking me, Hey dude, how do you make your reels? How do you, uh, what, what presets you using and stuff like that. So I decide to launch my first digital product because people ask me for this stuff. They were willing to pay for it already. So I launched a product where I show how to, uh, how I create my reels and how do I, what, what preset I add, right? I give them a preset. I give them a mini course. This product starts selling. I'm getting nothing crazy, like two to three sales per day for a $50 product, $47 product. It's still good. So I'm making extra. So I'm now making extra two to $3,000 per month, every month, right? Com like also counting my retainers from clients. I'm not scaling this. I'm just making this. I'm doing this like my, my, my job, my, my day job, right? So between these two, you know, five, six K some, some months, seven K, but still 10 K per month is so far away, but still guys, five to six, seven K crazy, crazy numbers. And now it's good because selling copy one takes you the same amount of time to selling hundred copies, right? There's no time cap between how much, you know, sales you can make. You can make hundred sales and one sale. The delivery is the same, right? Delivery is automated by robots on the internet. Your customers immediately get your digital product, which in my case was a, a course and a preset, right? So I keep selling it. I keep selling it. I keep selling it and nothing's crazy making the same amount of money. And then the June comes um, and June was my first $10,000 per mo uh, month, right? So, and I, I got into this level three tier. So how did, how did that happen? So what happened on June is I decided that I, I realized that I don't have a system to sell my product, right? You don't like you have a product, but you know, you have an audience, you have a product and every time you're trying to promote it, it's a little bit weird. You, you don't know what's happening. Like you don't want to promote it and you don't want to constantly just sell it. Right? So how do I create a system that constantly sells my product and people are happy for it. People are actually like, love it, love it. Right. So how do I do that? Right. It's, um, it's a system where like your product is being sold 24 seven and all you do is provide value. All right. A lot of creators use the system. A lot of people in the personal branding space use the system in multiple different ways. My way was that i took two weeks and I designed a different course. That's a spinoff of what I teach inside my main course. Right. And I put it out for free. Okay. I put it out for free, but inside I had a upsell for that course. Right. I upsold the course inside. Guess what happens then I put out that course for free. It gets so many people inside. I get thousands of new emails people just rolling in, in that free product and going through it and loving it, getting results with the free product ready. Guess what? They're like, damn, I'm getting, I'm getting all these results with this guy's free product. What's going to happen when I'm joined this paid product, I'm going to get access to this community, page audits, all kinds of different stuff that I added to that. And yeah. And I was not, I was not wrong that month of June my sales for the course literally 5x and I was able to increase the paid course price and finally reach $10,000 per month. And all because I created a system to sell that paid product. So whatever, uh, like if you're a creator, uh, I don't care what niche you are, create a system that automatically on demand sells your paid product. And it doesn't have to be you know, that you create a free product, which, which I would recommend because in that case, you are able to collect emails for the future, right? And you have an ultimate leverage because emails, nobody's going to take away your email list. Like you can just hold it forever and reach out to those people whenever you want. However, people, algorithms can change, you know, and your reach goes down and comes back up. It's unstable. But when you have emails, you are set for long amount of time and you you have something that constantly builds it up but don't make a mistake when pr creating that like this is how i launched the free product right this is one of the story uh, examples 
I actually teach, uh, actually share these types of things inside my new course that's coming out. And for, for those that want to join when it comes out, it's all about, you know, it's all about this model. It's all about building a digital product business online with organic content. I left a wait list in the first link in this video description, but essentially this is how, how I always promote that free product. This is the system I came up with. So again, it's almost like a creating a viral piece of content. You give her a hook, combining both of my uh, pages, I have over 600,000 followers, but 97% of people struggle to grow. You give a hook, you give a solution, you, you, you kind of like expand the hook. So you give a solution. So I created 10 lesson course outlining my exact strategy. Reply to this story with the word grow and I'll send you complete free access. This offer is only available for the first 90 people who reply. Uh, I, I tried doing this without this and people are just not replying that much. It's crazy. If you don't have scarcity, you're going to lose a ton of potential people that reply. So what's going to happen? This story is going to get five times more views. Why? People going to reply to this like crazy. They just want that free course. Instagram is going to push the story further and further and further for your audience because they see that, oh, it's getting crazy amount of replies, right? It's good. Like engagement on the story is massive. And replies is the highest uh, engagement point you can have on your stories. If you're getting replies, crazy amount of replies, this story is going to be pushed out to the algorithm and to the other uh, like it's going to be seen much more. Uh, you're also engaging with your audience a lot more because you're speaking with them on the DMs, which means your content is going to be shown to them more. So it's www, right? Win, win, and W every day, right? With this type of strategy, you're going to get so many replies, so many people, you send the, the, that free product, so many new emails. The same goes for my reels. Like every single reel that I put out, especially on my course page, right? Um, specifically for my design for my course. All right, so this is the page I'm talking about. So if we go to any of the posts that I have, if you analyze the captions really closely, the main purpose of this caption is provide value. But at the end of every single caption, I have some sort of CTA, which emphasizes people to leave a certain keyword and then they get a program for free. So. Every single reel has incentive to drive engagement. So what's going to happen when they leave the comment, right? Look how many comments I'm getting on this one. So it's 500 comments here, 200 here, 900 here, uh, 4,000 comments here. You know how many leads these reels generate me to that free product, which already has an upsell mechanism for the paid product. Guys, after I, I realized this strategy, right? After I uh, like realize that you want to have some sort of sales mechanism for your paid product, whatever it is that you're selling. I don't care if you're selling fitness programs, weight loss eBooks, I don't care, right? Every single reel drives traffic to that free product, right? That free product provides insane amount of value, captures emails and has an upsell mechanism in place. Some people are gonna buy it right away. Some people are gonna buy a paid product the same day, right? They see it, they buy it. Some people buy after two weeks. Some people go and buy after two months. After analyzing the data, I, I witnessed that s most people that buy my paid product is inside the free product, right? They went through that free product, they saw the value, they, they went ahead and purchased, right? Some people never buy, but that's totally fair. You got an email and whenever you're doing an email promotion, keep in mind you're promoting your, your paid product to all those people. Again, you're reminding them and Pro tip for emails, how I run my emails, uh, how I run my emails all this time this year. Five emails, really valuable emails, just value, just nothing else. Every sixth email is a direct promotion for your paid product. That way you're not going to piss out the audience and stuff like that. On Instagram, I don't even promote the paid product. I don't have to. All I need to do, and it's it makes the life so much more clear, right? You know that all you need to do on Instagram, for example, on your social media, you just push the traffic to that one free product or other free product that you have, which essentially has upsell mechanisms in place to sell that paid product for you automatically. And this, essentially doing this, this whole year, in August, uh, sorry, in, in, in June, I got to this level, right? In August and July, 
it was thirty thousand dollar months for me something like that like july was 25k or and then august it was 30k september was 40k october is 40k something like that then in november i hit almost 100 grand in a single month right so as you can see this was a november deposit it was pretty wild um and then available soon as you can see not every single not, 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 like i'm still missing some deposits here because stripe gives you a week waiting time for you to be able to pay out your funds and in december i hit 50k right and i was doing just this just this with one product keep in mind this is just one product solo right solo product one product uh, one one acquisition system to get people into that product that's it and this is how i got to level three and whenever you get to level three guys you have a solid skill you have an audience you have leverage and your goal is you decide what it is I can't decide it for you. I'm in this level right now. My goal right now is to keep doing what I'm doing, uh, launch new, exciting, interesting projects, and definitely upload some videos for you guys so you can learn learn some things from me, right? Because um, I don't see a lot of people sharing this, but I feel like it's going to help a lot of people. I, I'm not sure it's going to video reach a lot of people. It's not edited, anything like that. And I just want to upload more videos like this, just purely based on my own experience what worked for me right and just share it with you guys so with that being said don't forget to sign up for the waitlist below this video and i catch you in the next one thank you for watching